Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for it coming up. This is Kevin Harlan and beside me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. David Ulrich joins us on the sideline. DA take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey is able to play either guard spot. He says it's just basketball IQ and feel of the game. I pride myself on being a basketball player and being able to do both. I know when James is not in the game, I'll have the ball in my hands and have to create for myself and for others. Kevin? Nice to have that versatility, isn't it, David? Thank you. And the starting group for the Spurs. The four and the five, it's Johnson and Pirtle. Devin Vassell out there with Jones. And it's Richardson in at the small forward position. And for the 76ers, Harrison and Bede are manning the post position. Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Fiber in at the small four. With the regular season just getting started, what's it like for rookies, Greg, who are beginning these new pro careers? Well, let me tell you, Kevin, the speed of the pro game is startling. And things are happening so fast. It can take years for the game to slow. Now here's Jones. Pass to Vassell. Now Johnson. Screen on Harris. Six to shoot. Here's the floater. And Johnson with the lane good. Check out Johnson's touch on that shot. It was feathery. Feeds the hard And the Jones. Harden's shot is off. Outside, Jones. Must have this out. Johnson against Harris. Chin drop shot. Offensive rebound. Pirtle. He's again got that bucket. You can count on Pirtle to play with energy. And this time it pays off with the second chance points. Maxi passes to Harden. And Bean sets the pick for Harden. Carries it from three point range. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Which will the Spurs are gone to a point to start off the game. Harden against Jones. Turtle inside. Johnson surveying on the floor. Fires the three. Goes up the baseline. And he hits the jump shot. Turtle's got his second basket of the game. That is about as far as we'll see Jakob Pirtle shoot it. Nice to see him knock down a jump. We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. And there's the pass to Embiid. No good from outside. Spurs have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Johnson kicks to Jones. Passes it to Pirtle. Get back to peak production. Hopefully, he can as well. And the first one at the line is good. From 2019 to 2022, Steve, Josh Richardson was traded four times over a 20-month span. Kevin, that tells you how in-demand guys like Josh are. Richardson is a 3-and-D type, plays the game hard. Everyone wants multiple guys like him on their roster. And 
Washington drops them both. And certain teams take on the attitude of their city. And over the years, Philadelphia has been known. The Sixers known for having tough teams, much like the town. And Pirtle sends it back. Gotta love the shot blocking ability of Pirtle. Wonderful timing right there. Vassell kicks to Jones. Takes it inside. Johnson, a wide open look. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Uh, Greg, you mentioned the 76ers have taken on the identity of Philadelphia. In your estimation, how? Huh? You know, you go all the way back to the 80s. This has been a team that plays hard, focuses on defense, pretty much like their city. So they tend to play with a chip on their shoulder. Oh, no good. Spurs leading by three. Richardson outside. Over Harris. Richardson, no luck. Not sure what, what the beat is doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good look. That's the Harden. Able with the ball. That's the one beat. Over Pirtle, that's it. He's got two made now. And he's shooting two for three. And this is what makes him be so dangerous. And he makes stretching the floor look effortless. Picks it out to Johnson. Screen by Pirtle. And that one was clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots in. And Greg Nolan Johnson is listed at six five. But he plays much bigger than that. He has the strength to fight for rebounds with anybody. Fearless on the court and plays with an endless motor. This strength and willingness to use it makes him valuable. Free throw, no good. It ended in the bubble, but how about the Spurs playoff streak? 22 consecutive seasons, Greg, coming to an end. Kevin, making it every year from 1998 to 2019, winning five titles over that span, and having the same head coach certainly helped that streak. So did having a, you know, a couple of all things. And he ends up missing both free throws. No speed, the persistent growth of Kelvin Johnson it is pretty impressive. It is, Kevin. He is obviously receptive to good coaching and is committed to finding success here in the league. Almost across the board, you see his stats creeping up season to season. Now here's Pirtle. After the miss from Tyrese Maxey, Pirtle dishes to Richardson. Over Maxey. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. That's the end of the Spurs. They pick up an W against Indiana. Here is outside. Now, here's Fiber. He's guarded closer. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. And so is Jones. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. They defeated Indiana in the last game. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they looked right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the goals. Now here's Johnson. He's coming off the 19th game against Indiana. Johnson is in attack mode. He's difficult to guard. He goes after shots with so much energy. Indeed, from outside. And that one hits back iron. Johnson with it. Picked up by Harris. Harden against Jones. The pass to Purdy. That one doesn't go. Good D by MB. The 76ers trail by three. They've been looking at a sink offensively. Yeah, but their offense has ground to a standstill. A jump hook. And he makes good on the way. MB's got six. Energy points 
front of you. Takes up lots of space at 7 feet 280 and just dominates the board on both ends. Now here's Perth. He had 10 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. Yeah, and I looked at his total effect on the scoring, both as a passer and a shooter. Incredibly productive. Well, Brave, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous grab. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through. Even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. That one falls for Johnson. Manu Ginobili, Hall of Fame class of 2022. He played his entire career in San Antonio. And in 2003, Manu's rookie season, we won a ring together. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. And Trez Harrell, who's checked in for Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. George Meehan, who's checked in for Matisse Stiebel. And it's the Anthony Melton in for Maxson. And see Manu as a rookie. Smitty, what was your early impression? Well, the first thing that comes to mind, Kevin, he was unpredictable. He was definitely NBA ready. He had already been a pro for seven years before he came over. And he played an important role for us winning that title. Terrific play. This is why you run your offense through him and live with the results. It's tipped. Here's Niang, defended by Jones. Pass to Hill. Here's Niang, and he hits it to tie the game up. They scored seven times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Jones against Harden. Jones looking for an opening. Collins finds Johnson. Collins a screen on Melton. Comes in from outside. Rebound by the 76ers. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Well, they couldn't buy a bucket at times. That's frustrating. That game was their friend. Bad shot selection can put you in a hole, which can make you desperate, which can lead to even more bad shots. Now here's Jones. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. To the wing on the left. That's like that one's no good. Philadelphia has gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Just five to shoot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And some added toughness on the roster. Something really new they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go round. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. They now lead as the free throw drops for him. You know, for so long, many joked about how the Spurs were always too old, right? Too old, too slow, too stuck in their same ways. Uh, but that's changing. Well, I was on a couple of those teams too, Kevin. I remember well, people said that the Spurs were too old and needed to get younger. And over the last few years, they've done uh, exactly that. And great, the Philadelphia 76 have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top two on this roster. They have to trust the process here. They're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Melton following the bucket by the Spurs. And Harden now, top of the key. He made that one. That's the number three for him. He's also missed two. That's a nice play.
laid. Mark sure knows how to use that body and loop inside. Jones, the best to come. Stolen away. And here we go. Home. Into the hoop. And that's how they make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be struck. First drill by four. Outside, Jones. He dishes it to Collins. It's tipped. Now the 76ers on the break. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. In a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the 76ers. Right now is their passing game, and it's been on point. Doing a great job of moving it around and getting the ball to their shooters. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint, finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. And he makes the first. Shake Milton is checked in for James Harden. Gorgie Dangs checked in for the Spurs. He's perfect from the line this time. So it's San Antonio. Six point game. Here's Jones, defended by Milton. Picks it out to Jones. Jane with the screen for Jones. Up to Jane, back and forth. San Antonio, again missing. The 76ers leading by six. There's 117 left to play here in the first. Here's Mian. With nobody on it, he carries the jump. The end is going to second bucket of the night. That's the pass you want. Orchestrating the offense, creating for others. Dick Turner with the screen for Jones. And it's good up. And here's the break. Here's Milton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's the Philadelphia shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. Shoot two. He throw good, Milton. Orkmaz checked in for Philadelphia. Oh, yeah, free throws good for Milton. And doing a good job of getting to the line and capitalizing. Guys are looking for a spot here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Chang. That's the run, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And he was 73% from the line a season ago. Average number in that regard. First free throw is good. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And the missed free throw is starting to be an issue. Milton's shot is good. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working and inside, getting good shots from 
full strength. Six second difference between Chuck and Game Boy. Oscar Roby out to the wing. That's good. He scores. That's his first basket after missing his first two attempts. Now one for three. I mean, every time down the floor, this is what you're trying to do. Find the right matchup. Now, here's Melton. On key. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's Philadelphia. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. They're pounding the ball inside, and that's where they've gotten their best production tonight. And we'll be right back after this. So far. In that first period, they showed a willingness to make the extra pass. That's really hard on a defense, having to play deeper into the clock and having to cover a lot more ground. Well, Greg, we see it every year. Those overachieving teams in the NBA. What enables them to be greater than the sum of their parts? Well, listen, love can play a part, but confidence is a huge factor as well. If you walk into that gym every night right now for the Spurs. They've got Gorgie Gang. Richardson is out there with Devin Vassar. And it's McDermott. And it's Roby in at the portion. And the shot goes down. He's comfortable attacking in the painted area. Josh Richardson is using his size to make it look easy. And while we've got him up, and send it over to our terrific reporter, David O. David. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball is going to flow how it flows. I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. The San Antonio have it four of eight from the free throw line so far. Oh, that's 50%. Not great work there. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. No good on the free throw. Probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. Joel Embiid, he's checked in for the 76ers. James Harden comes in for Shake Milton. And he's good on the second. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Maxi with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's the three. And that one's good. Kukmaz. Kukmaz has got the lead up to 11 now for the 76 seconds. And here is Vassell. He had 19 points in the win against the Pacers in Indianapolis. And he's on the tournament. Great pass from Devin. He's all about doing what's best for the team. The 76ers leading by nine. Greg Devin Vassell came in as a free into type player. But he's grown beyond that. He has added secondary ways to contribute on offense. Still, not a great shot creator, but he can finish plays in a variety of ways to help his team. And the clock. Here's Maxi. It is indeed. That one goes in, and beats by eight. And the man just brings his lunch pail and goes to work. But what sets him being a part is he does it with such ease. They turn it with the screen for Richardson over Harden. McDermott kicks to Jen beyond the arc. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. And beats got his 16 time on the night. Burkmaz passes to Harden after Burkmaz. 
outside, Maxi. Harden outside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on Richardson. It's just so difficult to guard the beard without fouling. Harden is constantly seeking out contact. And the first one goes. And what's incredible about Harden, he can dominate a game with the pass as much as the shot. So defensively, you have to prepare for both. And Philadelphia making a change here. Eibos checked in. And San Antonio with the change here, too. Collins checked in for Roby. He's off on the second. Spurs trail by 12. Here's the pass to Chang. Back to Richardson. Spurs passing it around. Victor McDishes to Richardson. Collins, a screen on Hart. Richardson with it. Now defended by MB. Yeah, by Collins, no good. Oh, 76 years, leading by 12. There is kicks to Hart. Freiburg, the pass to Maxi. And B, the screen. And that one's good, Maxi. And that kick takes the beat totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Richardson. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Pacers in Indian Ends. McDermott passes to Richardson. Collins, a screen on Hart, steps back. And Shane kicks to Richardson. Again, but this by the spurt. Philadelphia's gone. One or two on three corners here in the second quarter. So Harden against Richardson. Harden gets the bucket. But of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. And now the first time out call here for the spurt. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. A matchup that only happens twice a year, these interconference battles can be a lot of fun. The balance between East and West, after years of being dominated by the West, is starting to even out some. The 76ers making a change here. Harrell's checked in. Spurs also with the sub. Johnson, he's checked in for McDermott. So it's the Spurs now. They trail by 16. Brazil, the pass to Chen. Kicks to Richardson. Over Harden. Collins trying to break free. 
again the miss by the Spurs. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. Rebound by Jang. Spurs trail by 16. Johnson outside. Passes it to Richardson. Pass to Vassell. Pocket six. Johnson outside. Off the mark and the clock continues. Philadelphia leading by 16. Mr. Maxey. There's MP. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Hey, get a good shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need the basket. Vassell finds Collins. Chang against Carroll. Richardson the pass to Vassell. Here's Chang. Off target from outside. 76 is gone. Six of eight from the field in the second quarter. And the pass to Harden. Lobbed up there for Maxi. Collins with it. Now defended by MB. Richardson right side. Johnson outside. A three ball. It doesn't go for him. And the 76 is go the other way. What I like, he hasn't stopped competing despite the half night. That's it for MB. For Maxi. He takes it off. Shot clock at six. High post MB. Good, it's Harden with the assist that time. And B stopped 12 in the game. Shooting at a high clip, he's found ways to get quality looks. Time called here, the Spurs decide to talk it over. Yeah, just looking to tighten up their defense in the paint. They've got to be better. It's a matter of want to. Helping out contesting shots, you have to want to make the effort. He's checked in for James Harden. Then for the Spurs. Peter Bates Diop comes in for Jane. And Jones subbed in for Richardson. for Johnson. Now the five on the shot clock. As if the throws are coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Just a power player all the way around. Keldon Johnson with the hard drive. This is his third trip to the free throw line. Taking two shots. First free throw is good. 
and so much great talent coming into the league, Greg, every year. That 2021 draft, in particular, looks very strong. Absolutely. Anytime you got just a couple potential stars, but from the looks of it, upwards of five, you know it's been a special draft. George Niang, he's checked in for Maxi. And Johnson drops them both. Given everything he's got, Keldon Johnson's a guy you want on your side. Why? He doesn't let up. Melton bases it to Niang. And B with a screen on Johnson. Here's Niang. A beautiful reversal. Niang is at six. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Jones. Johnson outside. From 10 feet out. And it's off the back rim. No good. And they got a big lead. Not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. That's the end. It's jump hook. And B, no good. And it's Jones with the ball for the Spurs. Collins a screen on Embiid. Outside Collins. Johnson inside. Harrell on him. And there's the call on Matisse Thibault. Matisse that'll be his second foul of the game. All this means is he has to be careful. Don't want to pick up a cheapie and get sent to the bench with three fouls. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. P.J. Tucker comes in for Montrezl Harrell. And it's Shake Milton in for Matisse Thibault. Pirtle, he is checked in for San Antonio. Now here's Jones. Driving to the basket. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you look at Dr. Pirtle. Great touch and presence inside the paint. Can get you with the move or just power his way to the hoop. This is his first free throw of the game. And not the guy you want to see at the line too often. Season numbers has him in the bottom tier of the league. And that one misses. And Greg Purtle has so many options to score in front. And that's why he's such an efficient scorer, Kevin. Very composed at the rim. Doesn't need a lot of time to get a shot off inside. He can't get either to fall. What you love about Jakob Pirtle is his size. A seven-footer who plays hard on both ends of the floor. The shot good for Milton. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teams. Outside, Jones. To the right side. Collins finds Jones. Pirtle sets the pick for Jones. Good D by MB. And with the success they had rebounding basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Austin Tucker. 76 is moving the ball around. And the shot goes in from MB. Eight of the last ten coming off the six. Outside, Jones. Now, here's Michelle. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. This is it to Perler. The end of the drought, and the layup is great. Perler is just a brick wall. Then you have to try and roll with him to the basket. Good luck. Milton with it. He's got six. The end passes to MB. A fader. It's the front of the rim and out. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Now the pass to Perla. To the left wing. Collins with it. He's against Tucker. Brazil, the pass to Bates Diaz. It's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. 
the shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. And now I'll send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Alder. Thanks very much. Now, for 22 straight years, San Antonio made the playoffs. They haven't made the last three postseasons. And former Spur Robert Earl worries if they'll ever be there. Saying, I hate to say that. San Antonio is a small market. Guys just aren't going to go there. And that's a dire prediction for such a story and successful franchise. Hey, no kidding, David. All right, thank you. Chip. Plus eight in the rebound differential. Not that reason why they're in control. 105 left to play here in the half. And here is Milton. Up top, MB. It's held in by Bates Dia. The dish to Jones. Collins kicks to Jones. Driving in. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid. 32 seconds left to play in the first half. Milton with it. He's picked up by Collins. Count the basket. He's got four points in the quarter. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just bounces inside and extends this lead. An uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Now here's Jones. To the poop. Here's Collins. Not that one. Collins has got his first two points of the night. A nice move to create a gap there in the defense and get to the bucket. And so it's Philadelphia holding a very comfortable 25-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thanks. Joel, the reserves have been a big story. What are you seeing from them? Uh, the bench has helped us a lot. They've, they've come in, they've scored the ball, they've got to stop, so we're going we to keep it going. We'll see if they can close it out in the second half. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And for that matchup with the Pacers, this one should be very informative. We'll just see how even these teams are. The rankings might not tell the whole story. Projections mean nothing to me. And now let's talk about Joel Embiid's first half performance. W-O-W. Defensively, man, no one knows what to do with this guy. Do you double him? Do you triple team him? How far do you go? Like, Shaq used to have that problem, Ernie. Yeah, they used to uh, quadruple team him, didn't they? Didn't they, big fella? That's right. Yeah. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. As we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. An exceptional performance so far from James Harden. Yeah, it's been a great performance from him. Really staying focused on quality shots. And many of those quality shots have been jumpers. A very high percentage of those in the first half. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. One point is Fibo and Harris. Axie out there with Harden, and it's Embiid in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group in the game for the 76ers. And that one's good. That's I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They came in focused and they executed. Now here's Jones. Bertle sets the pick for Johnson. Passes to Bertle. And 
foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Embiid. Really like the work inside from Perto, using his body well to draw the contact on his way up. He's 0 of 2 at the line in this one. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. free throw, no good. No good on the second free throw. Pulled off his gone, 3 of 7 tonight from three point territory. Harden has a wide open look. No good on the triple. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Jones, the pass to Bissell. Turtle with a screen on him. Johnson with it. Now defended by Embiid. Offensive rebound. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And this team's struggles are not his fault. He's putting in work at the offensive end. Looking to hopefully get something to drop for him at the line. Missing badly in this game so far. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. Second half of basketball. Just over a minute played so far. Here is Harden. Hands to Harris. Takes a three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Outside, Jones. Pass to Richardson from 11 feet away. Now, Vassell. Outside, Jones. Bertle sets the pick for Jones. Four on the shot clock. Kicks it out to Richardson. Back to Pirtle. Embiid with the steal. The pass to Harris. Right in off the glass. Harris has got five points so far. Really great things at the offensive end. Three for four to start this half. Pirtle against Embiid. Pirtle dishes to Jackson. Rejected by Harris. Great position on that play from Tobias. Challenging the shot and getting a piece of it. Here's Harden. Oh, Harden hit the stop. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they like to play all the time. Yes. When it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nice you relish, but they're tough to replicate. San Antonio with the ball. 76ers getting the bucket. Six on the shot clock. Screen by Proto. Richardson gets a wide open look. Again, the miss by the Spurs. 76ers have gotten four of the first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Jones against Harden. High post and B. And such a nice move to make the basket work. He's got 16. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing. But also, it's been a tremendous job of play calling and execution. They just continue to increase this lead. Now, here's Johnson. He's got seven. Harris picks to Harden. In the third quarter, just over three and a half minutes off the clock. And beat inside, defended by Bruno. That penny is good from Joel and And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Jones to end the run. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That one on Embiid. And Perto using his frame well, drawing the defense into him on his shot. And he hasn't cashed in on his chances at the line, only making one free throw. 
shooting two. He's off on the first. And the 76ers with some changes. Montrez Hero comes in for Embiid. And it's Korkmaz in for Matisse Thibault. Then for the Spurs. Gorgie Dangs check in for Vassell. Roby comes in for Johnson. And McDermott subbed in for Jones. And the second free throw, good. Here's Philadelphia. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Now, Maxi. Harden with the screen on Richardson. Here's Maxi. And he banks in the lane. Maxi's got for this quarter. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Hurdle against Harden. Chang with the screen on Harden. And he drives in. It's Richardson on the wing. He's covered by Matt Wooden. Count it good. A little pick and roll action. Richardson very unselfish. It's the man with a nice catchable pass. Now, here's Maxi. Six points for him. And Harden now, top of the key. Back to Maxi. Just five on the clock. Here's Korkmaz. They get it again. A terrific offensive rebounder. Harold's energy is what helps him collect second chance opportunities. Harden against Pirtle. McDermott with the screen for Pirtle. There's the drive. Basket good. Pirtle's got 12 points in the game. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. Harden to pass to Hill. Harris kicks to Maxi. And the 76ers tack on two more. That's set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. For San Antonio, they've gone three of eight so far in the third quarter, looking to lock in that rhythm. Jang finds McDermott. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And as for McDermott, about the last couple of seasons, he's had GA career highs in scoring. He's not making a higher percentage, but he's taking more shots each game. Seems like it's been a recipe for success. Spurs making a switch here. Primo's checked in. Now here's Harden. 16 points for him. Korkmaz. It's over McKinnon. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Yeah, the defender all over. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Something I've noticed is how aggressive they've been on driving the basketball. Time and time again, they've turned cracks in the defense into points. And you can't ignore their passing. All game long, they've done a great job of just delivering the ball in rhythm right where it needs to be. He misses the free throw. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And he sinks the second. Here's Primo. He dishes it to Richardson. Pass to Primo. Back to Richardson. Over Maxi. Kicks it out to Richardson. Jang with the screen for Richardson. Rebound by Hill. Hill's got his first rebound with that last one here tonight. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. Korkmaz. A three-pointer is right on target. Korkmaz has got 
jump. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. For them, the first half was maybe more of a filling out process. Now it's winning time. Here's Primo. No points in the game yet for him. Here's Rope. It's Richardson on the wing. Shane with the screen on Maxi. Richardson, no luck. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. And that one's good, Maxi. That was just a perfect possession. Getting in it tight for the high percentage shot. Spurs shooting terribly up to this point, just 30%. Some Ram Shackle offense play there. Pass to Jane. Here's Primo. Again, the miss by the Spurs. And it's Maxi with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. Next up will be a home game matched up against the Pacers. That game will conclude a three-game homestand. Dishes it to Hart. That's the court buzz. The play. Kobe with the rebound. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Richardson, plays it up off the glass. Richardson. Richardson's got his second bucket. You talk about a guy who's added some strength over the years. Look at the hit Josh took, and he was still able to convert. Over to the left wing. Tucker. And the 76ers get it back. And it's Harold missing. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Here's Primo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Spurs passing it around. Jang with the screen for Richardson. To the wing right side. Jang, no luck. Uncontested look. Can't fault the shot selection. He's money from there. Martin with it. He's got 16. To the left side wing. Harold down low. And it's blocked. The pass to McDermott. Here's Primo. Rebound by Harold. Harold's got his second rebound here tonight. Harden scanning the floor. It's up a three. The rebound by the Spurs. Passes it to Primo. Kicks it out to Richardson. Chang with a screen on Hart. Out left to the wing. Nick Kermit, no one around him. Back to Richardson. Chang with the screen for Richardson. And there's the foul. We'll go on P.J. Tucker. That's his first foul on the 76ers with some changes. George Niang, he's checked in for Montrezl Hill. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Maxi, And it's Jake Milton in for James Harden. The Spurs also with the sub. H. Diop's checked in. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And right now, let's watch that terrific swat. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Richardson, two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Richardson. I mean a ferocious athlete. Josh Richardson has also proven to be a terrific 3 and D guy. Matisse Thibel checked in for the 76ers. And Richardson drops them both. 
Philadelphia is going to less than productive two of six from three-point land in the second half. Now, here's Milton. He started closely. Really left it on that time. In the end, he's got 12 points in the game. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Look smart when the shots are going down. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Here's Milton driving the lane, and it's good for two. Ten points for him. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, a man is going for the juggling. Now, here's Collins. Kicks it to Richardson. Rocket six. Pass to Bissell. San Antonio needs to get off a shot here. Richardson, no luck. Philadelphia's gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. There's a four second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Here's Milton, and the shot is long. And here is Vassell. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Richardson outside. Off target from three point range. And so it's Philadelphia, enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. Their defense has been active and effective. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. Take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. They've got Jones and it's Collins in at the front. Home in the paint. Now here's Collins. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Well, Greg, analysts evaluate player performances on the floor, and sometimes we've seen the players fire back. They're not happy with the criticism. You know, it, it's a risk you take, but if you treat everyone with kick gloves, you're really not doing your job. The, the audience expects a level of honesty, and, and quite frankly, take players don't mind you criticizing their game. It's when those critiques become personal. First one falls for him. And he makes both free throws. Philadelphia has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40 percent. Read the pass to the end. That's a quarter go, and he sinks the layup. That's nice work stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Now Jones. Has to show him. And the Anthony Nelson picks up the foul. And that'll be his third foul so far. And the Spurs making a change here. Primo's checked in. Spurs substitution. Josh Primo. Now the pass to Collins. Here's Page Diop. Throw in the pass to Primo. 
Not one good for two. Primo has got his first points in this one. And then that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. This is a two knee in. He's at the pick. Wrong. Here's Primo. Here's Collins. And it's Melton with the rebound. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Now, here's Milton. Fires the three. Milton, no good. Here's Paige Diop. Pass to Collins. Here's Primo. Defended by Milton. You know, Greg, the league trending towards small ball, but some teams are having success playing two bigs up front. And I think the key is having versatile big ones. If they can space the floor and play in space, also be able to cover smaller players, why not get the added rebounding and rim protection? Now, here is Reed. Back to Melton. Five on the clock. It's House outside. Here's Reed, and he lays it straight in. Reed's got his first points of the night. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art, and that's the result you'll get. He's guarded by Melton. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. <laughs> Not just selling for something along the perimeter. Excellent job. To read. Here's Milton. San Antonio with the rebound. Here's Primo. And he uses the glass on the way. Poor interior defense. If you play himself, he's going to kill you. The 76ers have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. The pass to Reed. in the league these days. Well, Kevin, the NBA's done a good job of trying to keep financial equality between teams. But the biggest stars want to play in the biggest markets. So purity will always be a factor. So it's Philadelphia now, following the three-pointer by San Antonio. He takes it in. Here's House. No boy, not exactly, but he gets the call and will shoot to you. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one's pretty cool. And he knocks down the first one. Some changes for Philadelphia. Andres Hale, who's checked in for Reed. And it's Kurt Moss in for DeAnthony Melton. Then for the Spurs. Gorgie Dane comes in for Zach Collins. And it's Doug McDermott in for Keita bates Dion. That one misses, so he goes one for two. The Spurs have gone an outstanding four and five in the field in the fourth quarter so far. Here's Primo to the left wing. Nice to McDermott. Nice ball from the box in Antonio. Here's Primo from outside the arc. And it's so him missing. House kicks to Kirkmonds. Milton with it. That's the house. We talk about players. We would talk about coaches and GMs, but not too much about owners and their effect on the game and the organization. Kevin, the owners for me are A1. It starts from the top. They're the ones who hire the team president. 
GMs and coaches, and certainly there's some teams that have some great owners. There's Milton, following the basket by Doug McDermott. Kirk Miles puts the Milton. Bomb deep. The score of the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Nice shot from outside. There, there's no doubt about that. Spreading the floor and hitting them up. And the call will be against George Nian. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. And the 76ers making a change here. Harden's checked in. Over to the wing. The pass to Primo. Takes it to McDermott. Shot clock at six. Over Milton. That one wide left. Philadelphia's going outside a lot tonight. 17 times in fact. 7 of 17. Here's Court Mons. Harden up top. And it's Harden shooting it to And this is how a floor leader makes a statement. Harden just put the other team on notice. On a Ray TNT 5G slam cam. You just saw an explosive highlight. The Spurs are going five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Here's Primo, guarded by Harden. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And in this era of player movement, Greg, we're seeing guys often pick teams on fit or style of play. When they look at that, what are they looking into? You want to have fun coming to work every day, Kevin. I mean, sure, the, the money they're making, most guys are going to be set for life. But I think they recognize it's about the journey and who you have the opportunity to take that journey with. The first one falls. Johnson, he's checked in for San Antonio. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Philadelphia's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Court Miles passes to Harden. Takes it from 10. Again, Philadelphia. And it doesn't take much to get Harden going. His confidence serves as a catalyst for him catching fire. Here's Primo, guarded by Harden. The shot's good. Strong move at the rim. The defender was just a tad big late and contested. Harden outside. Passes it to Milton. And for a lot of up-and-coming teams, getting better defensively is the key to reaching Greg that next level. That being considered, what's the first step in that? A lot of times, it's bringing in a great defender, right? like a Pat Beverly or an Andre Iguodala, a defensive anchor who also inspires his teammates to take that chance. The shot by Primo, no good. And it's Harden with the ball for the 76ers. It's Harold, top of the key. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. Kevin Bissett, Trey Jones. Here's Court Mons. Pass to Harold. Back to Court Mons. Shoots over the sound. The 76ers again can't hit it. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. The 76ers have gone 6 of 13. 
So just about 46% on their field goal attempts here in the court. Kirkmaz passes to Harden. From past the arc, connects from three-point range. Harden's got seven points here in this court. And without a doubt, one of the most advanced scores this game has ever seen. Harden can be damaged from just about anywhere. To the middle. And the average age of NBA players is getting younger and younger and now about a year younger than they were a decade ago, Steve. Kevin, I'm sure you're correct, but for me, I'm also seeing guys play longer and longer and longer. The old guys are sticking around. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Philadelphia's gone two or five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Pass to Milton. Hit by Harold. Milton with it. Now defended by McDermott. And that one drops. Here's Jones. And the pass to Chang. He kicks it to McDermott. And he drops in the layup off the glass. That's now eight points for Doug McDermott. Let's not forget, a 6 eight, Doug McDermott has the ability to be a scoring threat inside the paint. Portmaz passes to Harden. Carries it down low. And that kick takes the beat totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Now, here's Michelle. Left in the fourth. Harden against Jones. Pass to Milton. Like we know a lot of teams using former NBA officials now working as consultants to teach their players how the refs see the game. I was always looking for that end. Yeah, Kevin, I think it's a great idea because philosophically sometimes as the rules evolve, players got to learn how to evolve quick. So getting the calls you might expect, also how you communicate with officials, I think all of that stuff plays a big role in just furthering that dynamic between the officials and players. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. McDermott on your squad is like having a guy that you can rely on knocking down shots from the stretch four position. Yanka Pirtles check in for Jane. And he can't hit the second. They need a more from him there. Any point they can get is absolutely critical for them right now. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout, a dominating performance for the 76ers. Great, generous ball movement tonight. A thing of beauty. Yeah, a remarkable team effort. They got everyone involved. And so with this, they'll end up with their second win on the year. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And as usual, some excellent work tonight in what was a quality big impact game for James Harden. High level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Here's Miami following the score by Yaka Burke. Harden draws the double, six to shoot. A floater, Miang, no good. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Spurs. On the wing, Jones. Kicks to Pirtle. Kicks to McDermott, fires for three. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. 
a point home match. Dominic showing in front of a crowd that uh, there is room in it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home, no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing in the basketball. I love you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. As we leave you with our new balance player of the game, James Harden.